Kamala Harris has chosen Tim Walz as her running mate for the upcoming U.S. presidential election, following Joe Biden's decision not to seek re-election. Harris was confirmed as the Democratic presumptive nominee, becoming the first woman of color to top a major party ticket. While there was an unusual viral rumor suggesting former Hannah Montana star Jason Earls as her running mate, the choice ultimately settled on Walls, the governor of Minnesota since 2019 and a former congressman for the state's first district. Walls has garnered attention for his strong stance on LGBTQ rights, which may have contributed to the Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump labeling him a dangerously liberal extremist. Here are some key points on Walls' record and statements regarding LGBTQ rights. In 2023, Walls signed a law banning LGBTQ plus conversion therapy in Minnesota, making it the 22nd state to enact such a ban. This legislation prohibits conversion therapy for children and vulnerable adults and ensures that medical assistance coverage cannot include these practices. The Human Rights Campaign, HRC, lauded this move as an example of advancing LGBTQ plus rights despite national setbacks in other states. HRC's legislative director, Sarah Warbelow, praised Walls for protecting vulnerable youth from harmful and debunked treatments, emphasizing his commitment to LGBTQ safety and well-being in Minnesota. Walls also signed a bill designed to protect trans youth and their families who seek refuge in Minnesota from states where gender-affirming care is illegal. This law, co-authored by 36 Minnesotan politicians, aims to block out-of-state subpoenas that would force families back to anti-trans states, thus preventing them from accessing necessary medical care. Walls highlighted Minnesota's role in protecting rights rather than stripping them away, expressing pride in enacting this legislation. Walls has been a supporter of same-sex marriage since his first congressional campaign in 2006, even though it was an unpopular stance in his Republican-leaning district at the time. His advocacy for equal marriage was praised by Democrat Congresswoman Angie Craig, who noted his bravery and its positive impact on many Minnesotans. Walls's long-standing support for LGBTQ rights extends to his time as a teacher when he advised the first Gay-Straight Alliance at a school in 1999. With 24 years of service in the Army National Guard, Walls called for the repeal of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy in a 2009 congressional speech. He argued that sexual orientation had never impacted military effectiveness or unit cohesion during his service. He emphasized the need for Congress to allow all Americans to serve openly, reflecting on the professionalism and commitment of the military regardless of sexual orientation. Walls's consistent and proactive support for LGBTQ rights, from banning conversion therapy to advocating for same-sex marriage and repealing discriminatory military policies, underscores his alignment with progressive values and his commitment to equality. His selection as Harris's running mate signals a strong stance on these issues in their campaign. What are your thoughts on Kamala Harris choosing Tim Walls, a staunch advocate for LGBTQ rights, as her running mate? Share your opinions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching till now. It means the world to have you here. This community is all about empowering each other and celebrating the incredible journeys of everyone on their path to living authentically. If you're ever feeling lost or alone, remember you have a whole family here for you. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let's keep inspiring each other, sending you all the love and strength in the world. Until next time, live your life by your rules.